Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 51 of our Spain World Conquest slash Golden Century run. Apologies if my voice sounds a little bit different, I just got done streaming for three hours and my voice is a bit strained, and it's a bit late in the evening, so. Uh, last episode, we began our war with the Netherlands and Austria twice, once again. We could actually get Austria out super quickly. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to very quickly uh, abuse game mechanics and slacken for 102,000 manpower. Um, I can do this because it's the first month of load-up, so the um, autonomies aren't exactly calculated yet, which also sort of uh, gives us 960 dockets a month, so... Um, yeah, that, that's, that's, it's a slight, slight abuse of the game mechanics. Um, but screw it, I'm gonna do it anyway because no one's really here to stop me, so. Doesn't really matter to me, it's in the game, I'm gonna use it, and that's sort of how games work. Also, Austria, if you'd like to leave, that's cool, I will gladly accept your, um, I don't know, resignation with 29 ducats. I'm just wondering if maybe you could, uh... Wait a little bit on that first. See if I can grab this siege, maybe? Beautiful. Okay, now I'm willing to leave. If you'd like to give me a bit more hot cash. If you'd like to give me, like, at least a month's worth, that would be cool. Not that that's really worth much. But that's nice, thank you very much. Let's, uh, let's bring these guys back over to here. Now, as for the Netherlands, I sort of came up with a peace deal that I think would work. I'm going to be taking these three provinces, which is a lot of AE, but I'm also going to be taking their entire colonial empire, if they don't mind. So, that is going to very easily allow me to get that... What is that? I need to have five of these, right? And currently, I have, like, three or something. But, assuming that we get this entire thing to one colony, this entire thing to one colony, this entire thing to one colony, we can very easily finish that up with uh, no issues, hopefully no overlaps or anything like that. So, basic gist of things, um, easy. It should be super easy. Also, I did bring in these ships, though I think we're going to have a bit of an issue. Um, they actually have more heavies than I do, so they could kick my butt, but they don't realize that yet. So they can, but they're not going to for the time being, which, uh, I don't know, it's um, very a very temporary blessing, but... It's certainly not going to help us when our uh, subject does eventually go and touch that. I know he's going to do it. He's going to touch Zealand and we're going to get killed. So before that, I'm actually going to make sure that doesn't happen. I want to send one stack. Uh, oh, you can't stand there. You can't stand there, bud. Let's have you stand here. Mm, you guys aren't doing anything. Sweden, would you like to... Would you guys like to go aggressive, actually? There we go, now he's moving. That would be really cool. So these guys, I'm actually going to send you into here. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Easy, we're just going to drop you off, we can siege London, do whatever. Uh, the Livonians, would you like to leave? No, not really. Not yet, at least. These guys are going to repair, these guys are going to repair. We're going to make sure that uh, these two stacks are... Good to fight over here, hopefully, maybe at some point. And today I also want to go ahead and grab the Constitution, that next um, next tech and admin, so I can go and grab influence and start, you know, just pounding my way down that uh, idea, that idea path, that idea group only, I can't speak. Hopefully we can really just go aggressive on that and take it immediately so we can start integrating Ming. I noticed Ming did sort of lose some cores over here in Dali. I think it was just too long, so, um, you know, very unfortunate, but oh well. They do have their cores here and their cores here, and I feel eh, somewhat satisfied with that, so. I don't think we've really lost too much here. All right, can I fight that? Probably not. I don't think Denmark has anything that, uh, Makes their ships any better, but... I really, really don't think we would win that. A 6-2, I have a 2-2. Two, two, and they have nine more heavies. 
I don't even know. Do my heavies need upgrades? Yeah, my heavies do need upgrades, so I don't think that would even work. Like, I think it's in our best interest to actually stay here, siege London, and then just not engage, you know? Just don't touch them. If it's not broke, don't touch it. Basically. Any good policies? Mm, not particularly. Not really. All I want at this point is to uh, beat up the Dutch and get my war goal. I also want to make a couple more colonies. Uh, I don't think I ever put down that extra one. So let's send you up into here. I could even create a fourth colony, so I'm going to build up two more of these guys to do that. And that'll be fine. London shouldn't take too long. Yeah, minus 10% makes it a little faster. That's neat. I am going to have to chase down the Dutch, though, which is super annoying. It'd be a lot cooler if I didn't have to do that. And this stack just sort of got stuck where he was. As unfortunate as that is... Okay, Kek Chikel. You guys can deal with that. That's not my problem. That's a lot of Dutch. That's a lot of Dutch in a place they don't need to be. That, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I really kind of don't like that. Yeah, that's really weird. Also, who's fighting here? Someone else, probably. I imagine so. Where are they going? Where are the Netherlands going? I literally can't tell. I have no idea. Well, we just took London. Feels good. But we don't have this, the uh, show superiority that I want. Like, that kind of matters a lot. Me getting that show superiority. It's the entire war goal, so... Come on, do you guys want to show yourselves or anything? Want to try and siege something so I know where you are? Or, or maybe not. I don't know. Take Lundberg, that's a bit of extra war score we can use. And boy, are those some revolts. Ugh, they're fighting my stack. Those are lights. Those are lights and transports. We can win against that. Maybe not with the heavies thrown in there, though. No, that's that's where we sort of draw the line. Our heavies aren't strong enough to fight those. Oh, dude, I lost eight heavies in that instant. That's so disgusting. That's terrible. God damn, that sucks. Okay, let's bring these guys over here, because we found where the Netherlands are. And we're looking for... Palu. Palu being over here, which can get us a little bit more trade power. There we go. That's cool. And how are we doing on Diplo relations? Okay, everything I have is necessary, so... That's not actually the issue. Alright, I see you have no leader, and I see we have more Separatists. God damn. These ones... These ones? These ones? These ones? These ones? I don't know. Yeah, it's these ones. Okay. So Portuguese Mexico, I have faith in your ability to fix that once we, um, you know, clean up all the Dutch issues we have going on. Hmm. Should I... S should I fight that? Yeah, you're a normal stack. You are a standardized stack with a good leader. Um, you know, superior tactics, slightly less morale, but that's okay. We should win. I don't think we can stack... Oh, maybe we can stack white. Maybe? Uh, no. No one fought. <laughs> there were no casualties in there. Is this an invincible stack? What's up with this? He's unkillable. He can't die. <laughs> what? Okay, finally he's dead. That took a long time. Okay, um, well, I can't really take more provinces here. If I do, I die, so um, we're going to have to stick to where we are over here. So that's the capital, that's this province, this province. We'll come back next time for, like, this one. But we also have to fight Liège for this province. We have to fight Luxembourg for this province. It's a big mess. But for now, we'll be done with the Netherlands, and we'll have to come back another day, I think. So, all the colonies, that's great. That makes it easier to get war score over them. A bit of money is cool. Um, yeah, I think this works out. There we go. So, we got a little bit of stuff here. It's not a lot, but it is what it is. And apparently we finished a mission? Mayan Conquests. Really? Like, like really? 
Also, I didn't end up coring those, did I? I hope not, because that would have been a massive waste of admin. I might have accidentally cored those. Feels bad, man. Feels really, really bad. But, uh, oh well, I suppose. We have a truce with you, which is going to come up in, well, less than half a year. So let's not forget to declare on him when the time comes. As for our AE in Europe, we're going to have to take a, well, take a seat back, I suppose. Can't really do much here. I suppose our next conquests would be um, somewhere with, like, Sunni AE. Because all of these are, these are nations that we've specifically conquered. But we haven't, like, conquered enough. Does that make sense? Like, we haven't taken enough land where people outside of who we've attacked are angry. Which is something I need to improve upon. So, for instance, like, Moravi, um, Killwell, we have to clean up, but they're part of an issue. In Marina as well? Oh, no. Okay, we can kill in Marina. That's cool. In Marina, uh, Bengal, of course, I'd love to go into Bengal right now. They just have a lot of allies, which makes that difficult. Um, Brunei, potentially. I could see Brunei working out. Sulu and Brunei, that would work out, I think. Um, this is an issue. Definitely, for sure. Russia has a rival. Let's grab embargo against you. I'm not really sure who, would, who to invade at this point, honestly. Hmm. It's kind of tough. So, we completed all my short-term goals. So, I'm wondering how, how we're going to do our like long-term goals. Well, I guess the coalition's going to dissolve itself, so that does make it easier, obviously. I'm going to have to leave one of these stacks behind. I think it's going to be the wonky one, the weird one with, like, uh, yeah... The weird build. This guy. The 31619. Oh, that's so weird. I'm gonna keep him behind, I think. Okay, you can stay there. Um now here here's an issue. Ah, maybe it's even a non-issue. Maybe maybe this is fine. Yeah, France likes me enough for some reason, despite how much land I've taken from them. So maybe they will let me through. That's cool. We'll get some random coalition members from, like, the middle of the HRE, but uh, I made sure there were less than, like, ten of them, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, half cost level three Diplo. Don't mind if I do, actually. Wrong Diplo guy. I just spent a lot of money. <laughs> now I have to wait a month. Ah, that's painful. Now I have to wait a little bit. Half cost. Thank you. All right. That's cool. That works with me. Um, I might at some point actually want to just grab a level 5. Maybe half cost doesn't matter. I make so much money. Half cost doesn't matter. Ooh, colonies are done. That's cool. Colony over... Ooh, I don't even know where. I must have stolen one from the Dutch. That must have been it. That must have been costing me a fortune as well. How many colonies do I have right now? Five. Yeah... That, that would do it. So, you stolen some colonies. What do you do now? Well, you get rid of them. They're Protestant, I don't want them. There we go. So now you get some money back. Ooh, spicy. 426 ducats a month. That's nice. That's some good stuff. And an extra merchant, because I just... I just made a second... Oh. Oh, thanks. I hate it. Ah, oh, thanks, I hate it. Okay. Uh, wow, I kind of despise this. <sighs> yeah, this sucks. Okay, so it all went to Portuguese Colombia for some reason. So, that one theory I once had is kind of just thrown out the window. That one time I had a theory that uh, it goes to the first tag that you made in that region. Yeah, that just sort of fell apart. So, hmm. Never mind, I guess. Just never mind on that. Alright, how about these guys, though? We did want to group you up, and we want to send you to a colony uh, here, was it? Here, there we go. You guys can go into there. Alright, next. You guys are going to be sent back to the old world so that we can conquest a little further. Take that. You guys are going to be sent down to here. You here, but we're going to ask for mill access. 
So you go here, you go there. There we go. That should work out for us. Let's not forget to get our spy networks going on, please. Thank you very much. And these guys left the coalition, which is brilliant. So I want to see, who am I attacking? Who am I killing today? It could be Delhi. A jam isn't even that big. Ah, oh, they do have 90,000 men. That's kind of a lie. They are that big. I'm wondering if I should attack Ak Koyonlu and then go in. I don't think that's a good idea. I think I'd rather focus more on India still. Like, Gujarat has untapped money. Um, Doab has a little bit of untapped money. Bengal has a ton of untapped money. So, especially, so these two. Gujarat and Bengal, I definitely want to move into next. That's a pretty good idea, I think. These guys have gotten their manpower back over time, so that's cool. Let's have you stand there, if that's giving you attrition. And the ships are on their way back. The lights can stay home and do whatever here. I don't know. They, they weren't doing much in the first place. That extra merchant can head over. Uh, let's see. I was thinking we have a little bit of this. I don't see why we don't we don't just like send it. Oh, because it's out of range. I see. Hardly. I don't know how, but it is somehow. Mm hmm. Hmm. Goes into there, goes into nowhere, actually. You should be going into the into the uh, Caribbean, for sure. We should be sending more of Mexico into the Caribbean. That'll take a few days. I'm just going to make sure it's going the right direction, which it is. Great. And so now we wait a couple of months, and then we can get our next idea group, which is going to be great. So let's send you here. You guys I actually don't even need to click that button. You'll do it automatically. So I want to send you down to India. That's what I want to do. So you guys can go over to there. More conversions. Bop, bop, bop. If the Mamluks ever leave this coalition, then I'll definitely go for Mecca. That'll give me that extra missionary I would like to grab. Oh, geez. Italian revolts. Um, You can have a bit of autonomy. That's not so bad. You guys are not having a good time, huh? We lost a siege somewhere, but I don't know where. Siege? Siege. The rebels spawned somewhere? Yeah, they did over here. That's where they spawned. I remember now. Ah, that's painful. And Hangzhou, I think that's a trade thing, so I will take that. It's After all, it's what the nodes are named after, so I assumed so. Get a bit of extra cash out of that. And Ming, while I would love to sort of steal their uh, steal their trade, I don't think that's going to last too long. So I can divert trade for a little bit, but uh, the instant that that's uh, not working out anymore, well, obviously we're going to have to change that. So you guys can be sent over here as well. Do we have enough ships? Yeah, we would, because we're able to move the mercs. So, of course, that would make sense. Colony's done. That would be... One of you guys. This one, okay. Uh, we'll take this guy's settler and send him over here. There we go. And once these are done and Alaska has been set up, then I think we're pretty much good. I, I mean, I just haven't made a Louisiana one. I don't know if I want to make a Louisiana one. I could, right? I could make a Louisiana one. Uh, I need to make a Peru one. Uh, we have an Eastern America, so that's fine. But they've sort of been, you know, blocked off on these sides, so they're just deving their capital, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's get a let's get a claim on Creek. Let's try and do something with that. Same thing with Norway. We're gonna have to kill them at some point. But I think it's just so much easier to wait for imperialism before we touch that. It's not even that long. It's like two tax or something. Should be around two tax. Okay, you guys, I would like to send you over here as well. Once we have that uh, 140,000 men, I think we can get started. A jam's going to be a bit of an issue. Who do you have mill access through? Okay. New question. Who are you friends with? Okay, not Akkoyonlu, but do you hate each other? You hate the Mamluks, but Akkoyonlu might let you through. 
So, uh, they could annoy me over here, but if they do, then that's, I guess, even better for me, isn't it? Because then they're out of my hair and I don't have to care too much. So let's speed 5 while we do the very simple, basic things around here. Um, I am making currently 773 income. But if I could improve that, then of course I'll take the opportunity to do so. Grab that, grab that. It's really rare that I'm at peace. So anytime that I can just, you know, slap down a little bit of extra, like, I don't know, governing capacity on trade companies, and that's cool. Um, let's not forget that I did mention I could have, like, a ton of world ports, and I think I'm going to be using those in areas where I currently have the least trade and have the most importance. So, for instance, like, Hangzhou, definitely level 3 port. Uh, over here, definitely level 3 port, I think. Uh, occupied. I would be, yes. And you guys are being occupied, so I can't do anything about that. Hmm... I think that's good for now. I could make a whole bunch, but I want to sort of select them in the right places. Uh, let's not forget I can upgrade a bunch of these ones, and I might as well have one of these be a level 3. Uh, Killo wouldn't be so bad. How about this? Here, why don't you join up as well? Uh, I think that's it, though. We can't do much else. Except for, like, you see, upgrade this one to level 3. This one's completely relevant. It's just for my own... Uh, <laughs> for my own fun, I guess. Upgrade these as well. We have most of the trade required, but uh, just in case. No one's really stealing it. But just in case they were going to, I'm going to steal it back. Unlawful territory. That's a funny one. Yeah, okay, Emperor. Sure thing, man. Let me just uh, give back this land that I just fought you twice. Very tough fights <laughs> just to get. Yeah, sure. Portuguese Brazil versus Rio de Prata. Well, one of you is going to have to do something. Portuguese Mexico, 45%. Rio de Prata. Which I can't even find. Over here, 18. Okay, Rio de Prata, you guys can be upset. I don't care. So, we have everyone here. We're going to be assigning a couple of these guys. I think Delhi is going to be the target today. They do currently have, uh, what is that, 230,000 men? 240,000 men? Something like that? That's pretty impressive. That's, uh, it's definitely something. We're just gonna get the ships to bring these guys over as well. So that's... Yeah, you, you guys don't need to have anything there. Am I missing another stack? One, two, three, four, five, six... Wait a second, we are missing another stack. Wait a minute. It's about to say, hmm, I think we're missing someone. We are. So he'll come over in a quick minute. Probably he'll deal with a jam when a jam tries to push. But for now, I think it's a good idea to start this war with Delhi. Now that the mercs are at full capability and we don't have to worry too much, I will be getting rid of this and I will be replacing that with one of these, Build Spy Networks. And now everyone's going to join a coalition. We are fighting a force that's about the same size as ours. So, if we want to play this in an intelligent way, we're probably going to go after Gujarat, get him out immediately. Gujarat's actually really small, they just have a lot of men. Delhi's like, yeah, much larger, and Bengal's even larger. Well, in development. The Wound Separatists, I do expect Ming to take care of that for me. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Okay, let's see what happens if we engage this stack. Oh, god, dude, the difference in morale is immediately apparent. Damn. Uh... I mean, I'll have these guys on standby. It's probably a good idea to beat them in now. There we go. Oh, dude, that's so disgusting. Okay, let's go into here. Stack wipe these guys. Pretty good start, I'd say. A solid show superiority beginning. Uh, this next tech is not going to be tactics, so we don't have to worry too much about it. And as expected, of course, a jam is moving in there. 
Okay, there's the timer, but we have a couple things to take care of first. I'm starting to think we actually are just going to use this stack to attack a gem. Just to get them out of this really quickly. So, this fort, capital, done. In theory. We're gonna grab this for the next idea group so we can grab ourselves influence. And this annexation is going to be done, well, in less than half a year. Why don't we go ahead and do that then? We should win. It won't be a stack wipe, but uh, it'll be a solid beginning. Need to continue. Need to remember to do this. Um, okay, I had the uh, I had the thought that that was never going to be done. Uh, which province was that? Which province is that that was never going to be done? All of them should be done at some point. This one belongs to a trade company, so I made a mistake. I trade company this when I shouldn't have. That was the mistake. Okay, it sort of felt like we were um, converting slower, so. Yeah, that would definitely be it. Alright, national tax, not necessary. I have more than enough money, thank you. So we'll do this. 853 ducats a month, good lord. Okay, we're really getting there now. <laughs> Holy, yeah we are. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of money. I think some of it is the fact that we're taking money from Ming now. Sort of stealing his cash a, a little bit. Is he going to be upset about that for a while? Mm, he's only at 30%. I don't know. I don't think he's going to be too upset. I'm just going to continue his uh, placating. I don't think I'm going to do much else for the time being. And yeah, you guys can do whatever you want over here. Take some solid attrition, you know, be my guest, uh, do whatever you like. We're going to go for your capital as soon as possible. Which does require that fort, okay. Just making sure. So, this is done. Gujarat, all I would want for you right now is the alliance, because... <sighs> Delhi, we're going to be just... I don't, I don't even know how to describe... The destruction we're about to deliver right here. Children, you might want to uh, avert your eyes. This is not going to be pretty. This is going to be um, rather gory, I believe. Oh, God. Oh, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Oh, are you kidding me? We're one province off. Uh, surely I can just do that. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Doesn't that look like a nice piece deal? <laughs> uh, we'll worry about that in a second. So, from Gujarat, we'll wait until you get to low, I think. You have some money to give me. I think you have some things to hand over. Did I win a siege or lose a siege? Oh, wow, I won the world's fastest siege. Okay, well that works for me. Oh, poor Madurai, you're gonna get clapped. I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, there was... There was nothing you can do. Well, except for be smarter, but... Again, nothing you could do. There we go, some more conversions. Can I grab... Ones at the top, please? Thank you very much. There we go. So Ming's just, you know... Fixing that for me. I think we just got, um, rest of expansion decrease. Did that just happen? I think so. Hey, integration! Beautiful. So, now, the world's most beautiful Spanish decan. Uh, Portuguese Mexico dislikes me now. Pfft, dude, I don't even know why. Here, take some money. It's been like that for a while. Uh, let's grab these. And, well, now we have this. Don't really know what to do with it, actually. I think I'll trade company it, but I'm a little worried about my governing capacity. Um, clearly, I'm not worried enough, though, so I'm probably just going to add everything except for this. And to do that, I'm going to be doing that. Then doing this, even though, yes, I'm aware that this creates issues, but they're temporary and I don't care. So, governing capacity is going to feel that. That's for damn sure. These guys are going to group up. We've won that siege. Getting close... Um, 
I might get rid of them. Gujarat. Yeah, I guess I will. You have a decent number of men. So getting rid of your alliances would work for me. Doing war reps, that's solid. I'll take that. You guys can leave. Be my guest. We'll see if we can do that. I sort of doubt it, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. So what was I doing? Ah, yes, right. So, um... I turned this into a trade company area. The whole thing. My governing capacity hates me for it, but that's fine. I might, uh, you know, remove some of these from trade companies later on. Or I might just make fewer trade companies, but, uh... As of right now, I'm just gonna see. I'm curious. How much money will this make me? It's a burning curiosity. Also, I, I guess we could, like, put them down here. Just so that I get the green check mark on these things. Like, where am I missing this? Over here? Oh, yeah, I guess so. There we go. Beautiful green check mark. Also, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. For these. Uh, trade steering? Sure. Give me that. That should be everything we need. So, money. The root of all evils. How are we doing so far? I'm curious to find out how much we make. 872 ducats a month. Good lord. Okay, so in one episode... Uh, we went from... Uh, I'm just going to put it out there. I think in one episode we made an additional... What is it? 120 ducats a month? At least... Because I remember getting to 750 last episode. But good lord, is that crazy. Okay, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Basically just Corbett gets money and flexes on everyone with cash. But <laughs> that's going to be the end of today's episode. Hopefully next time we come back and we conquer, you know, good portions of Delhi, good portions of Bengal. I have big plans for uh, these regions. But for now, this is Corbett signing off. And as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to take the time to thank all the patrons you see on screen here for the month of November. Starting with those in the general tier, we have Quiet Guy, Brennan Arsenault, Ben Greenhagen, Torvald, Farron, and Brument. In the Prince tier, we have Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. In the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot and Corbite. And in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have The Watcher. Truly, you guys mean a lot to me, and I don't think I could possibly ever thank you enough.